and welcome to Behind the Music for Daily Hope on this first weekend of July. As I'm sure you're aware, we're about to celebrate Independence Day on July 4, which will be here soon. And it's also interesting on this holiday weekend, as we continue through our sermon series immeasurably more, that our word of the week is alive. In Ephesians 2, it talks about how we are alive in Christ, even though we are supposed to be dead because of our transgressions. There's nothing that we have done that is enough to give us life, eternal life. But we have the promise that we are alive in Christ. So that's kind of exciting. And it's kind of neat that it lines up with this weekend that we're celebrating our freedom. There's nothing that I personally have done to be free to live in this country. I was born here and people for hundreds of years before me have been fighting to make this freedom possible for me. So this week I was thinking about what it means to be free, what it means to be alive, and I was struggling a bit with how to choose music to help us in worship, but also to be meaningful, but also to recognize that this is an important holiday for us. Lots of things to tie together as we think about worship for this weekend. So alive in Christ, us not being able to do anything of our own, thanking those who have made sacrifices. And I was thinking about... The first time that I remember really being scared because I heard the word war. Now, I'd heard about war from stories and so on, but I vividly remember being in the kitchen and hearing President Bush say that we were going to war with Iraq. That was a scary moment. What did it mean to be in an active, active war, a current war, not just something that we talk about as a historic event. And there have been times since then as well where I've been like, oh, how is this going to affect me? How is this going to impact my family? 9-11, I'm sure there are things like that in your life where you can also think about, oh, what is this going to do? How is this going to change our reality? I have a friend and a colleague who is from Ukraine. She lives in Ukraine, and she posted a video of herself practicing organ, and in the background, you could hear the military operations from Russia uh, invading and attacking, and the unrest that is her reality. That's not something that I've ever, ever had to experience, and for that, I am grateful, so thankful. So freedom is not something that happened in 1776, and now we just have fireworks and hot dogs and we're done. Freedom is something that we have to fight for every day because my kids, the generations coming up, they also deserve to have the same things that the people who came before me fought for. So as I was thinking about music for this weekend and what I wanted to play and how I wanted it to be meaningful but also acknowledge this important event, I decided for my postlude to use a song that became popular during the civil rights movement. It had been written in the late 19th century. We don't know by whom. It's a spiritual and so not a lot of recognition given for the original authorship of those. But it's called O oh Freedom. Let me read the text for you. O oh freedom, O oh freedom, O oh freedom over me. And before I'd be a slave, I'd be buried in my grave and go home to my Lord and be free. I want you to listen to a little clip of this. Me singing it or just playing you the melody is not going to have the same effect because it's sung a cappella and it's just so powerful. So have a listen. O oh freedom, O oh freedom, O oh freedom, O oh Yeah. 
Aren't those strong words? Strong words sung by strong people. And we also have to be strong too. There are generations coming ahead of us that are going to depend on our strength and our willingness to fight for their freedoms. And I want to be thankful to the people before me and to you if you served. Thank you so much for continuing to give us freedom in this great country. And this weekend, as we think about the sacrifice that Christ made for us, that was nothing that we did to deserve. He did it for us, and that's why we are alive in Christ. So, so many great things to celebrate this weekend. Enjoy your fireworks, enjoy your food, enjoy spending time with family and friends, however you celebrate, but also take a minute to think about what a wonderful thing it is and how we are so not deserving both of the sacrifice that Christ made and the sacrifice that others have made for us. Have a wonderful and safe Independence Day, and I will see you again next week. Thank you.